this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all the subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for showing support and love for this channel. I appreciate that. And like I said before, y'all the star and I'm the messenger. Now, we're back on Virginia again because there's so much news coming out of it. It's the headlines now. And, you know, there is so much infringing it that's going on in this country. I'm talking about, I had never seen nothing like it. You can't sleep. Your politicians are working 24-7. They're working around the clock, creating these gun laws. And it's ridiculous. There's so many states right now that I'm looking at, that I'm doing videos and stuff on, trying to get stuff prepared and stuff to bring y'all all this information, bring y'all another perspective besides what's going on in the mainstream media, what they're saying and everything. But, you know, when it comes to Virginia people, I'm talking about, Everything that we had covered when it came to Virginia, all the way up to the two-way rally, it, it's coming to the forefront. Everything that they had denied. And they're running a trickery game now. They're saying they're, re, they're rolling back some of the things that, you know, because the bill, you know, that was in the first bill that didn't pass when it comes to the assault weapon ban in Virginia, they're saying, oh, we're rolling that back. But let me tell you something, people. Once they get what they passed now, they're trying to get something passed now. And then later, they're going to go back and putting them things in another bill to pass it. Don't be fooled. This is the crap that keeps going on in this country. So, you know, I want y'all to watch this little snippet here. And, you know, you have this, this, this pitiful uh, delegate, Democratic delegate, who's a sponsor of this uh, bill in Virginia, House Bill um, 961. It's pretty much destroying Virginia right now. It's pretty much just set the stage for more destroying when it comes to gun laws and, and the gun rights for the citizens of Virginia and everything. So, He's going to watch this little snippet and, you know, just listen to, you know, you could just hear it in the hearts of these gun owners who own these gun shops and stuff like. So we're going to we're going to get back into that, you know, just watch this little quick video. So here you go. We're not taking away anyone's guns. We are trying to stop the arms race. Here some people say, oh, you know, uh, 15 bullets is standard, 20 bullets is standard, 30 bullets is standard, 100 bullet drum is standard. You know, it didn't used to be standard. We're selling two to three times as many guns every month. Um, just because people are scared. People are afraid that they're not going to be able to get these after the first, and I don't blame them. It's AK-47s, AR-15s, MP5s, uh, you know, I mean, assault firearms is what we do. This is what we wanted to do when we got out, and and basically they're going to so do it. So, you've seen the video, and people, this is what we've been talking about. If you watch a lot of my videos, I've been covering so much stuff. This is the stuff that I've been talking about. These, this is the information that I've been trying to bring to a lot of people to sink in their brain to see what is the devastation that comes from when you have the Democrats passing all these gun laws. A lot of the other states, not just Virginia, we have a fight. This whole country, we're fighting this whole country when it comes to gun laws. Virginia is just an example of what's going on in many states right now. A lot of citizens going through it. I'm going through it. A lot of citizens going through what's going on in Virginia. But we're using Virginia to show you the devastation of what happened when these gun laws are passed by people who just want to take guns from you. They have no sympathy for gun owners in this country no more. And, you know, one thing that I've been trying to stress right now, Virginia is panic buying to the to to one thousand percent. You have gun shops pretty much basically that was on an average selling fifty five to seventy guns a month are doing double that now. I'm to my um, I was looking at an article where you have ammunition companies, online ammunition companies in other states who have said that they have pretty much a lot of their sales have been coming straight out of Virginia. You have Virginia gun owners right now panicking, buying ammunition, people. They're panicking. And they're buying rifles. They're buying everything they can get their hands on. One thing that I was looking into an article, in Virginia, their top-selling gun guns are under 300 bucks the budget guns that we all we've been talking about you know the favorite you know um pistol that's under 300 dollars is very reliable and stuff like that they're just pretty much uh, been wiped off the shelf they can't keep them in stock and stuff like that now when it comes to virginia now um they got to july the first you have gun shops who got to clear all the inventory out like I was explaining one time before in another video, they have to clean all the inventory out and stuff like that by July the 1st. And, you know, a lot of gun shops and what people don't understand on the flip side of this bill and stuff like that, we I've been watching it. I've been covering it when it comes to Illinois. Some of these bills they've been putting in Illinois and Chicago and stuff like that pretty much decimated the gun shops. And right now, this bill here has an effect that a lot of people's not talking about. A lot of people's not covering. It's running gun owners out of business. 
That's pretty much what it is. You have so many gum shops in Virginia who their livelihood was selling, especially selling MP5s, AK-47s, AR style rifles. I'm talking about they sold a lot of that. And because of this bill here, it could pretty much put them out of business. I heard and I watch. Um, I see the frustration on a lot of gun owners and stuff like that. It's going to hurt their business. And, you know, when it comes to um, the Democrats and the Republicans, you know, we got a Republican president and stuff like that. Now, some of the gun shops expressed that, you know, sales kind of went down a little bit and everything. But see, the flip side of that, you know, yeah, if we had a Republican president and stuff and it's not a lot of panic buying unless something happened or unless your state or somebody like what's going to Virginia creating laws. Yes, yeah, sales spikes and everything. But, you know, the bad thing when these gun shops are really selling a lot of stuff, the flip side of it, a lot of these laws is putting them out of business. You know, I'm talking about, you know, some of the gun owners has expressed that, you know, sale hasn't been as great when you have a Republican president. But, you know, when you have a Democratic president, because they're always talking about guns, sales is real good. People going out panic buying and stuff like that. But on the flip side of that, when you have a Republican president, which keep gun owners in business, because guess what? You don't have all these laws that keep putting out and everything but when it get down to the state level the local level when you have your local governors and stuff like that what's going to virginia these laws that they're passing are running gun shops out of business i'm talking about business is good it's booming but you know at the end of the at the end of the totem pole their laws is going to run these gun shops out of business and you have gun owners already showing you know a lot of you know expressing that but, you know, like I said before, I'm talking about we've been watching this for decades now in this country, the spike in gun sales and stuff like that. But in Virginia, it is massive panic buying going on. And, you know, like I said before, a lot of your online um, sites and stuff, they, you know, they've been seeing a spike specifically coming out of Virginia, certain areas like Richmond and stuff like that. They've been expressing that they've been shipping uh, a lot of stuff to Virginia. So you have the citizen panic buying. And this is what I've been talking about when it comes to stockpiling and stuff like that. You want to avoid this because you don't know when these laws are going to rise. And, you know, we did a lot of, so we supported Virginia. A lot of people went there to rally and support in Virginia, stuff like that. And guess what? They still passed these laws. A lot of you expressed that. A lot of you said that. I'm talking about now the flip side of that. Guess what? We got an election coming up. We need to come out and get rid of these people. We can't flee these states. We can't run from them because that's the worst part. That you, the worst thing that gun owners can do is leave a state who is passing gun laws right now. Because if you leave, there's nobody that's going to fight back. That's just going to double down on top of what everything that they're already doing. So I'm talking about, you know, this is what we have going on in everything in Virginia. I just want to express that and stuff like that. But right now, it is massive panic buying in Virginia and stuff. So I'm talking about, like I said before, um, gun shops right now uh, pretty much don't know what they're going to do because a lot of the inventory, especially if some of this stuff get banned, they have to get rid of it by July the 1st. After July the 1st, they can't sell it and stuff like that. So, you know, this is what's going on. I'm still looking into it. I will bring it, be bringing you more news what's going on in Virginia. Still got a lot of a lot of information on processing. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.